There are more than 125,000 people in Colorado who claim Polish heritage. Some of them are eligible to vote in this Polish election. Tomasz Skotnicki is a Polish consul in Denver. Those people who have a Polish passport, they can vote in Polish elections as well. We are electing people, uh, our delegates, to Sejm and to Senate of Republic of Poland, as well as we have a referendum. So there are three cards which people can choose. Local election commission head Katarzyna Majkutschuta says it's a close-knit community in Denver that is trying to stick together to not forget its roots. So we have a Polish club, we have a Polish church, we have a Polish school, Sunday school, we have a Polish newspaper, we have a Polish stores as well, we have a Polish bakery. Polish people now can uh, actually get their passports without going to general consulate in Los Angeles. She says more than 500 people registered to vote in Denver, including people from neighboring states and tourists who registered in Poland. Neurologist Jacek Langa is traveling in the United States and says he and his wife never miss an election, no matter where they are. And now this is the important time in Poland because we have the election and uh, we are aiming to change the government. So that's why we, uh, as Polish patriots, came to Denver to, to vote uh, in this election. And for the first time in Denver, but this uh, commission, this Polish club is uh, excellent. Uh, so that's, that's the real pleasure to uh, vote here. Voter Karolina Chisovska is in the United States on the work visa. She says every vote is an opportunity to change the future of her homeland. I'm really happy that even if I'm not in Poland, I can vote uh, and uh, give my voice to be a part of, uh, of uh, Polish people, which are outside of Poland. So I'm really, I, I feel like I'm in Poland. Uh, I'm emotional also because of the voting and uh, that my voice is counting. With Russia's invasion of neighboring Ukraine, many Polish voters here say their election is an important moment for Europe. Svetlana Pristinska, VOA News, Denver.